an enlarged prostate, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH for short, is a common condition that affects many men as they age. The prostate is a walnut-sized gland located just below the bladder, and it surrounds the urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder out through the penis. When the prostate gland becomes enlarged, it can put pressure on the urethra, leading to some serious urinary issues. The word benign means that BPH is the non-cancerous growth of cells in the prostate, which means it's not life-threatening. But if it's not treated properly or well on time, then it can be very dangerous. It is estimated that about 50% of men between the ages of 51 and 60 have BPH, and that number jumps to 70% among men aged 60 to 69, and around 80% of men over 70 years of age. Besides aging, there are also other factors that are associated with the higher chances of BPH. One of them is family history. If BPH runs in your family, you may have a higher risk of developing this condition. Another major reason is metabolic syndrome or obesity. Being overweight or having metabolic issues promotes inflammation and speed up your aging process. This can lead to heart problems and type 2 diabetes, which are also major risk factors for BPH. So keeping your weight in check and staying healthy is really important. But what age has to do with BPH? Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Well, it's all about hormones. As men get older, the cells in their prostate can become very sensitive to hormonal changes. These hormonal changes in men can affect the production of an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. This enzyme facilitates the conversion of testosterone into DHT, a more powerful form of testosterone. So aging or hormonal changes can cause DHT to produce too much, which can stimulate prostate cells to multiply, causing the gland to grow, leading to the development of BPH. Now, let's talk about some of the most common symptoms of an enlarged prostate. Number one, frequent urination. The enlarged prostate squeezes the bladder, causing it to feel full even when it contains only a small amount of urine. This can make you feel the need to urinate more often than usual, especially at night. In addition, the enlarged prostate can block the urethra too, making it difficult for urine to flow out freely. This can lead to a weak urine stream, difficulty starting to urinate, and the feeling of not being able to fully empty the bladder. If you are experiencing frequent urination, it is important to see a doctor to find out the underlying cause. And if the doctor determines that your frequent urination is caused by prostate enlargement, there are a number of treatments available to help relieve your symptoms. Number two, urgency to urinate. BPH patients often describe it as a sensation of urgency that can be very painful and challenging to control. Again, this can happen when the enlarged prostate puts pressure on the bladder and urinary tracts. Moving on to number three, bladder stones. Bladder stones and prostate enlargement are connected because the prostate sits right behind the bladder. When the prostate gets bigger, it can squeeze the urethra, the tube that carries pee from the bladder, making it harder for pee to pass. So when urine stays for longer in the bladder, it can gradually crystallize and take the form of bladder stones. So if you think you have this problem, it's best to talk to a doctor. They can help you find the right treatment. Number four, urinary tract infections. This one's another very common and telltale sign of an enlarged prostate. When your prostate grows bigger, it can block the normal flow of urine, which can trap some urine in there. That trapped urine provides a breeding ground for bacteria, which can cause urinary tract infections. Another reason is that the pressure on the urinary tract tends to increase inflammation and irritation in the bladder or urinary tract. Those inflamed cells and tissues are more prone to catching infections and make the symptoms of BPH even worse. This kind of inflammation or infection can cause burning pain when you urinate. Number five, dribbling. The squeezing effect on the urethra due to prostate enlargement makes it harder for urine to exit the bladder in a strong controlled stream. This can cause a dribbling or a slow, unsteady urine flow. Additionally, an enlarged prostate can hinder the bladder from fully emptying, leading to residual urine that may dribble out later. So, if you encounter these symptoms, it's crucial to consult a doctor for a proper checkup and diagnosis. Number 6. Painful Ejaculation 
The urethra in men is a common path for both urine and sexual material. An enlarged prostate can narrow this passage. To push the semen out during ejaculation, the body relies on muscles around the prostate. And with a bigger prostate, these muscles have to work harder, causing pain or discomfort during ejaculation. Plus, the inflammation of the enlarged prostate can also contribute to these painful sensations. Number 7. Bloody Urine Bloody urine isn't actually a sign of an enlarged prostate. It's a sign of an infection in the bladder, prostate, urethra, or urinary tract. And that can happen in the case of an enlarged prostate too, as it increases the risk of developing inflammation and infection in and around the prostate area. Plus, the extra pressure from an enlarged prostate also affects tiny blood vessels in the prostate or urethra walls, causing them to break. As a result, blood mixes with the urine, leading to bloody urine. But do remember that blood and urine can also be a sign of a more severe underlying condition like prostate cancer. So never ignore this sign and get yourself checked as soon as possible. Number 8. Nocturia Nocturia, the need to urinate frequently during the night, is another common condition that can happen due to many reasons, most commonly UTIs, bladder infections, type 2 diabetes, kidney stones, and prostate enlargement. But why is it more common at night? One reason is that when you lie down to sleep, extra fluid that was accumulated in your legs and feet during the day is redistributed throughout your body. This can result in more blood volume and other fluids reaching the kidneys, leading to increased urine production. Another thing is that during the night, our bodies typically produce lower levels of antidiuretic hormone or ADH, also known as vasopressin. With lower levels of ADH, your kidneys produce more urine, which can lead to nocturia. Older people and ones with age-related conditions like BPH may develop more sensitivity to this phenomenon. In simpler words, their bladder may become already too weak to hold urine. But it's important to note that not all men with BPH will experience all of these symptoms. Some men may have only a few symptoms. So if you are experiencing a few or more of these symptoms, it is important to see a doctor for evaluation and treatment. Now, let's have a brief look at how can you shrink your prostate and avoid these risks. Firstly, you might have to reduce dairy product consumption. Dairy products, especially high-fat ones, can contribute to inflammation and can worsen your symptoms. Limiting dairy intake can help reduce irritation and inflammation in the prostate. Secondly, Height or high-intensity interval training can also be helpful in shrinking the enlarged prostate. It involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by brief rest periods. It can improve your overall heart health and help you lose extra fat from your body, which can indirectly help with your prostate health. The third step you have to take is cutting down on alcohol and sugar. Alcohol can irritate the prostate and worsen your symptoms, while excess sugar can cause inflammation in your body and increase your risk of getting infections, including UTIs. Avoiding these things can reduce extra stress on your prostate and support overall prostate health. Step number four, supplements. Some supplements like saw palmetto and beta-cytosterol have been studied for their potential to reduce prostate enlargement symptoms, but it's best to ask your healthcare provider before taking any supplements to ensure they are safe and appropriate for your individual needs. Remedy number five, eating pumpkin seeds may also help. They contain many compounds that can support your prostate health, most notably zinc and phytosterols. Some studies even show that these nutrients help reduce the size of the prostate and relieve symptoms of BPH. Number six, intermittent fasting. It requires you to eat only after a specific time frame, so eventually you'd be eating less and staying hungry for longer. This can help you manage weight optimize your metabolism, and even improve your body's insulin sensitivity, all of which can positively affect your prostate health. Lastly, at number seven, eating cruciferous vegetables regularly. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts contain sulforaphane, which has powerful anti-inflammatory properties. These vegetables also contain many other vitamins and minerals, including vitamin A, folate, or vitamin B9, vitamin C, zinc, selenium, and many others that can be great for your prostate health. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. Remember, your health matters, 
So if you or someone you know is experiencing any of the signs discussed in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. Early detection and treatment can make a world of difference. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.